think I'm live. I'm just checking my sound really quick. Okay, I think that it's good. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> no worries, I will be here just doing the gaming thing. And you can just be here to chat whenever. You can see my mouse this time. Ooh, I wonder what changed. <laughs> oh well. Um, so we left off with Sabin, Cyan, and Shadow uh, after the Doom Train um, or the Phantom Train. <laughs> and I think we are close to being done with their section. And then we will get to Edgar. This must be Baron Falls. To the south of here lies the Velt. Oh, it's the Velt where we get a uh, Gao. Tis a wild and dangerous land inhabited by all manner of ferocious beasts. But if we turn around and go back, the Empire will be waiting for us. I love you too! Hmm, the village of Mobles lies on the eastern coast. If we can make it through the Velt, we can head we can head there. I have served my purpose. And just like Shadow <laughs> uh how Shadow do, he's gonna be gone. Bye! <laughs> Shadow! Thanks for your help. Let's let's team up again sometime. Deuces. <laughs> but hello to you too. Dive into the falls? We're gonna go ahead and jump. Opinicus fish. <laughs> that sounds like a like a pseudonym. Opinicus fish. be my pseudonym. <laughs> so, yeah. Rhizopaz. Yeah, it's a little goofy, but it's fun. <laughs> let's see if we... Uh, yeah, let's suplex the uh, Rhizopaz. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it missed. Okay. That was rude, but okay. Let's do Raging Fist. El Nino. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh that was embarrassing. <laughs> uh yes. And now let's just remember to stay on top of healing. <laughs> Okay, we already went through this. Alright, bye Shadow. Let's team up again sometime. Okay. <laughs> okay. So not this... I think... At the right before the third or the end of the third fight, we're gonna heal. Or right at the beginning of the Rhizopaz fight. I don't wanna die again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was 
was awful. <laughs> I could not believe oh, that I died. Oh, okay. High potion was probably an overkill, but that's what we're doing. Okay, and then we're going to defend and defend, and maybe this will make El Nino not be so bad. want to die again. Mega Volt. Jesus. Can you be cool for like a singular second? God, we're gonna... I think I might run out of HP before... <laughs> I run out of healing items before... It heals me. What is it gonna do the thing? But also, look how pretty that rainbow is. Or, like, the water in the back is. It's very rainbowy. Oh! Okay. It died this time. It didn't El Nino at all. It just died. <laughs> EXP. How dare you? <laughs> I love his little, like, splat. Splat self. Blech. A youth draped in monster hides, his eyes shining with a warm and gentle light. Gal. Who are you? Or is that Gao? Who are you? Oh no, we scared Gao by talking to him. <laughs> We need to buy meat so we can get Gao. That's how you get. That's how you get Gao to hang out with you is by <laughs> feeding him meat. <laughs> this one. down barren falls unbelievable it's flowing even stronger than usual this year no one's been able to get here lately are you a house or oh you're an inn i'm good for now is it true that war has broken out i got a letter saying that it had did you see the house on the far northern plains that old man has lost his marbles they say he threw out his own kid thinking he was some kind of monster this region's known as the Velt. Monsters migrate here from all over the world, so it can be quite dangerous outside of town. 
You never know what you might run into. People, apparently. Hey, sir. Carrier pigeons are our only link to the outside world. Okay. I'll move. When I was out hunting yesterday, I could have sworn I saw a pack of kids run- Or I saw a kid running along with a pack of monsters. Wonder if it was just my overactive imagination. Poof! Puppy poofed at me. I threw some dried meat to a herd of hungry animals last time I was out on the veldt, and would you believe it? Some kids scrambled out of the herd and ran off with it. Yeah, that's what I need. I wonder. <laughs> dried meat. Let's grab three potions. We'll get four. High potion. Let's get five. Uh, there we go. Okay. That makes me feel better. <laughs> there we go. Powerful ocean currents run through the serpent trench. Have you ever heard about them? I haven't. We're gonna say I haven't. Oh. Go on. Way over here. Hop into the current and you'd be swept straight to Nikia. Too bad our only diving helmet was stolen. Yeah, shame. Is it stolen by a man named Locke? Because I wouldn't be surprised. The soldier inside this house is hurt real bad, so Mom says we have to keep our voices down. Shh! You have to be quiet! A grievously injured soldier wandered into the village not too long ago. I dressed his wounds, but his condition doesn't seem to be improving. Those letters coming from the town of Miranda are the only thing keeping him going. Let's talk to this man. After I loot the house. Hey, sir. Injured lad. I'm a soldier from Miranda. When our town fell to the Empire, I was forced to join the Imperial Army. I tried to flee rather than help them attack Doma, but they came after me. I barely escaped alive. Now I can't even move. There's a letter on the desk. Would you be kind enough to bring it to me? Of course, dude. There are even more Imperial soldiers walking the streets of Miranda these days. But things are peaceful otherwise. The flowers in the garden will soon bloom and announce the arrival of spring. How are you holding up? Your condition worries me no end. I wish so, or I so wish that I could fly to your side to, and be with you. I can read. Please think only about getting better and try not to push yourself too hard. Rest knowing that I spend every day thinking only of you and wishing I could see you. Lola. Aww. I'd like to write her back, but I don't even have the strength to pick up a pen. I'll do it for you. You just tell me what you want to say. Dude, that, that dude is very busy. Duane and Katarine are both 16. Ah, what a magical age. The springtime of love. Hello. Welcome. Ooh, a white cape. Defense plus 5, magic defense, magic evasion plus 10. by one and we'll equip it to <laughs> I know Sabin has all ev Sabin has strength for everyone every single person <laughs> don't do it oh yeah why stay at an inn when I can just steal someone's bed Sorry, sir. This might have been weird. Uh, but I feel better. <laughs> Let's go talk to Duane and Katarine. Oh, he says nothing. 
she says nothing. <laughs> they just stare into each other's eyes. Like lovers. Because they are. Hello. Do you, so you want to send a letter to Lola for that injured soldier? Postage to Miranda is 500 gil. Yeah, I will spare that. And steal your elixir. I can send letters and packages to any corner of the world for you. Let me know if you need my servi services. Saban's little rat tail. I know, it's so cute. <laughs> His little pokey tail. The entrance to the Serpent Trench lies within Crescent Mountain near the southern tip of the continent. Cool. Okay, so this is Mobley's. Alright. Alright, I gotta get out of that guy's way. He has places a tubby. Okay, let's see if we can get Gal. Hey, Gal. This battle music is so cool. <laughs> Gal. Wow. Items. Dried meat. <laughs> I love Gao so much. What the? What a peculiar child. I am Cyan, and this is Sir Sabin. You Cyan. You Sabin. Me want more food. Sorry, all gone. You go. Get more from me. You're a regular little munchkin, huh? And you, afraid of me. You want some of this? Me not want hurt you. Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> Small feral child. Oh, oh, you're pretty tough for a little guy. <laughs> that fun, you strong. <laughs> I love Gao stopping. I love Gao stopping early and just laughing. You fall for it, fall for a trick. Shut up. Oh dear, do simmer down, sirs. And thou, a wild one, who might thou be? Thou? Thou, thou! Thou, thou! Thou, thou! Thou, thou! You angry? Cyan, you angry me? Cyan, you angry me? Cyan, you angry me? Yeah, I love Gao, he's so cute. Listen, his family was just whispers. <laughs> Okay. Me understand. Me sorry. Gao not mean person. Water, water under the bridge. Let us not dwell on such things. Sir Gao, I have a feeling we will get along quite well. Wilt thou join us? Oh, Gao give you present. Gao give Cyan and save a nice present. Thanks for food. Right. What manner of rubbish do you suppose he's gonna give us? Sir Gao! Gao's treasure! Shiny, shiny! Shiny, shiny, shiny! How shiny can this junk be? Mr. Thou like shiny thing? Mr. Thou's that one! Over there! A shiny thing, eh? Locke's gonna be jealous when he hears about this. Who Locke? He bad man? Maybe he try steal Gao's treasure. Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> Locke, well, he's <laughs> little gal. Listen when someone's talking to you. I believe he's trying to tell us something. <sighs> Fine, well, what is it? Here, here, shiny thing here. Where Sabin is, that Mobles. Cyan, stand place river bring you. Gao stand, 
Crescent Mountain. Moon-shaped mountain. Shiny thing there. Well then, shall we be off? We might as well see what, what is at this Crescent Mountain of his. <sighs> Glad we have to invite someone like him along. Uh, because Gao's the best. <laughs> Mr. Thou, hurry up. We leave you behind. I told you before, my name is not Mr. Thou. <laughs> and now we have Gao. Here's how to build up Gao's skills. One, during battle, choose Leap, a command that appears only when you are on the Velt. Keep fighting on the Velt and eventually Gao will reappear. When he reappears, he will have learned the attacks of the monsters uh, you were fighting when he left, as well as those you were fighting when he returned. Whoa! Whoa! Choose Rage to have Gao use any of the, the attacks he has learned. And now, please continue your quest. Oh, Kappa. <laughs> I think that is where. Oh, yeah, that's the Crescent Mountain. I'm just gonna run around a little bit, not a whole lot, just so we can get Gao some uh, attacks. Go, Gao! Noise. Also, this music is rad. I mean, I'm pretty biased because I love the entirety of the soundtrack, but listen. <laughs> I love Satan's chest. battles it takes for him to come back. But we're only going to do a few minutes of this. Not not a whole lot. Gow! Ooh! Oh yeah, I have to give him more dried meat to make him come back. Your friend! Friend! I join you again! Yeah! Let's go get some more meat. <laughs> Is that? Oh, that's the inn. Is it here that we got the meat? Yeah! go stay in a bed so we aren't close to dying because the belt can be a little bit tough oh man so I um started playing Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. Um, it's one of my friend's favorites, and the music from it reminds me a little bit of um, 
music from uh, a game called um, Illusion of Gaia, and then it made me want to go play Illusion of Gaia, <laughs> which is a very interesting game. I really, I really love that game a lot. But it's one of those where uh, it just like. Um, I don't know, like, I, I got to the ending and was like, why am I so bummed out by this ending? <laughs> but I still really, um, enjoy the game. And I understand the ending a lot better now. Um, but at the time I was like, <laughs> But, um... Yeah, I but the music I was when I was playing Sacred Stones, the music just reminded me of uh, a bit of Illusion of Gaia, and I just I love that game and I love that music. It's so it's so good. Okay, I think a couple more times. For the puppies, the Dobermans. I think other games I'd really like to play, maybe stream, um, is Lufia and Lufia 2. I haven't played those games since I was a kid, and those are so good. Ooh. I think Lufia 2 was one of those games that <laughs> made me understand what sadness could be. Built up, we're good. <gasps> Crescent Mountain Cave. Cyan, that shiny, shiny thing of Gao's is in here. And where exactly might it be found, Sir Gao? <laughs> Gao, forget. <laughs> Shall we look around? It seems we have no choice. Gao, oh, it! I know, right? What is it, Gao? Did you see something? Whoa! Gah! My money pouch! There was 500 gil in there! <laughs> Gao, you little... Oh dear. Sir Sabin, please let it go. For all of our sakes. <laughs> <laughs> Gow, you little shit. Is this it? The shiny treasure? Treasure, treasure! Tis aught but a dirty glass bowl. Kind of looks like it would fit over your head. Hmm, I wonder if we could use this. It might let us breathe underwater. All right, let's go. Whee! And another time. <laughs> it's a diving helmet. It's not even the full suit. <laughs> but look, it's another time we're jumping into some, some very fast moving water. But we're going to end up in Nikea. These rapids look quite rapid. No kidding. But it's the only way to make it in time to meet up with the others. Oh. 
<laughs> Don't laugh at him. All right, let's go. Oh, gal. Let's try Zagram. I don't know what these are gonna do. <laughs> oh, I... Hell yeah. Yeah, even the orchestral arrangement of this particular song feels a little bit Final Fantasy 13 in a way. Uh, uh, left. Because I like left. Whee! Oof. I bet we're bonking all around those tight, tight turns. Actinian, Aspirin, and Ag Anguiform. Uh, let's do the lesser look. <laughs> oh, shit. Gao is so strong. Whee. Oh, that's a cave we just passed. Left. It's always left here. Also, I need to heal my party. <laughs> you go on berserk, but I need you to do damage to the enemies, too. Love you, but holy crap. <laughs> Alright, Cyan again. There we go. Good job, gal. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do Belmodar this time. Holy shit. <laughs> Gal's out here like Mega Volt! <laughs> Terra's gonna faint. Oh, good. We hit land. Right where we needed to. Or right where we were told we would. Micaiah. Splat. Hello. This fairy's bound for South Figaro. 
still need to shop. That's how music is so good. It's like, there's like some songs like um, Traverse Town and Tifa's theme that just feel like home. I feel like I could add this onto that playlist. Hey girl, hey! So the Eastern Kingdom of Doma has fallen to the Empire as well. Get out of my way! <laughs> Standing around in the street like that all covered in filth. Yeah, it just has such a homey, like, comfortable feeling. All this stuff looks like junk to me. Welcome! We'll get you guys some new weapons. You guys can have anything you want. Ashura. Okay. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, hello, merchant. Welcome. Plus five. Yeah, let's get this for the girls. Defense plus 16, 18. And everybody but Sabin can wear it. You know what? Let's get three. We'll get one silk robe. Iron armors. I can't equip anybody who's not in my party, obviously. <laughs> Welcome. Schmuck burn. Chocobos. I don't need to be on a chocobo. Wait, let's see the math. Yeah, we have to have a. Yeah, there's nowhere we can go without. We have to take a boat. <laughs> So here we go. Let's go talk to this grandma. Whoa, where'd she go? <laughs> A rock slide has blocked the route that leads north along the coast. It's bold of it. Oh, hey, Ashley. What's up, babe? She just touched me on the side and scared the shit out of me. This town's isolated from the rest of the world, so you can't get anywhere without a ship. By the way, what does isolated mean? I'm shopping for imported goods, aren't we all? Pretty impressive that a kid like me can run a business, don't you think? You should buy something to encourage me. I don't need anything, sorry. Ashley's so good and so cute. She's very polite. She just gently reaches up to tap. Know that strange old man? Uh, know that strange old man lives in a little cabin near the lathe? I helped deliver his son 13 years ago. It was a problem birth. The mother didn't survive, and the man could. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the man couldn't handle the loss. Went loony, he did. Thought his baby was some kind of monster and threw it out. Poor little thing never had a chance. Oh, I bet that's Gal. Hey, you handsome young thing. Why don't you have a, come have a drink with me, Teehee? 
Thank you. For the Gesundheit. How dare thee, licentious howler! Off, but off with thee! Oh, don't be so, don't be a stick in the mud. Let's just have some fun. Hey, do you like these? I call this one Humpty and this one Dumpty. <laughs> Dumpty? Dumpty? Cyan, you're being too thin-skinned. But thou art unaffected by these charms? One of the benefits of all my years of ascetic training. <laughs> oh, don't leave me standing here all alone. <laughs> Enough of that. A woman should have modesty and, and decency. And... Oh, Cyan. <laughs> safe and just laughing at him. Ships used to sail to the towns of the southern continent. Zen, Albrook, Miranda, but all of them have been lost to the Empire. Safe and definitely knows what's up. Poor Cyan, just like, oh my god! <laughs> Alright. Let's hop aboard to South Figaro. Oh, look at our little ship. So cute. Narshi is just a stone's throw away. I wonder if the others arrived safely. I'm sure they did. Whoa. Choose a scenario. Hmm. I wonder which one I should pack. Yay! Edgar, Tara. With the Empire with the Empire's troops in hot pursuit, Bannon, Edgar, and Tara ride the rapids towards Narshi. But the going won't be easy. fire effect. Never. I don't think I'll ever get over how cool it is. Yay, Edgar went up a level. Come on, let's get to Narshi. No more battle, only Narshi. Okay, more battle. <laughs> Ponytail. Shocker. And here's Nurshi. place where you can learn things and battle people and monster in a box <laughs> if you talk to this guy he's even like this is a monster in a box <laughs> sometimes monsters lurk inside of treasure chests I love that all of the scholars are dressed exactly the same 
<laughs> Potion! Okay, we're not gonna spend too much time in here. Let's see what's going on in there, is she? You, you're that Imperial officer from before. Please, I can explain. Get out of here now or you'll regret it. Hey! Let's not get hasty here. I'm King Edgar of Figaro. Liar! My goodness. And that, my friends, is why I can't stand men. It's like they don't even have ears. <laughs> oh, Edgar. The same model probably saves space as well as artists. It's true. <laughs> I can't even stand men. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. It's like they don't even have ears. Preach it, Edward. <laughs> or Edgar. Jesus, why did I call him Edward? Edgar. I think I might have forgotten to turn my brain on today. looked at other men and was like, do better. Yes! Uh, Chocobo! Bulky! Although, we're like right where we need to be. Turners. <laughs> no, and not. I'm trying to get to South Figaro, right? I think might be able to go through the shallows. Let's go find out. Hello, sir. I'd like to rent a chocobo. Press the confirm button or up on the directional pad to move forward. Change course by pressing left or right. Press the L button to change the view. You can also control it the same as when walking. Can you put that in keyboard terms for me? <laughs> Not by tapping the cancel button. The bird will return as soon as we get there. Okay. Figured out. Is it so cute? Okay, there are any really places that we can go to. C O B O. Okay, the only thing is that <laughs> the way that spells out Chocobo reminds me of this uh, Five Nights at Freddy's thing. That this is it's a little bit creepy. <laughs> first rescued me, we came out of the mines right around here. He fiddled with something. 
Yes, he told me. Twist this so stone like so, and... Hell yeah. Back to easy enemies. definitely didn't encounter these monsters the last time we were in here, but then I remembered it's because we fell to the floor the last time we were in here. Oh. Oh god. Okay. Place. I'd heard of a cave they used to test applicants to get to the city, or er, they test applicants to the city guard. Oh, this seems, seems this is it. I don't know why it took me a second to parse that in my head. We should be fine as long as we follow the light. If we make a mistake, lights will surround us. Then we'll have to tag the glimmering orange light to proceed. I think it went up. Shit. Shit. <laughs> oh, I guess I could have been in prey and that would be fine. The fact that it like showed the path and then they all chit chatted for a while. Like, ugh. Okay. Yes, okay. Uh, oh. God damn it. <laughs> I took one half step out of line and it was like, ah, do better. Oh, good. Oh, this is where Locke and the Moogs did battle. Love the chaos of the moon theme. <gasps> Rim blade. I wish a Moogle would come with us. I know we get mod later. <laughs> You just go hang out with them. I 
would like to hang out with a whole bunch of Moogles. That'd be cute. I have a Moogle plushie from the 35th anniversary uh, Distant Worlds concert. Um, one of my friends went to Distant Worlds. It was his first time going, and I he was a little short on cash, and so I like loaned him 50... Well, I just gave him 50 bucks and was like, get yourself something nice. And he... Um, and so then he... When we went to another concert before together... Um, or, like, after that, he was like, I want to get you something nice, and he got me the 35th anniversary Chocobo. Or, a um, Moogle. Bannon, King Edgar! Oh, and Tara, too. I know I gave him an old man voice, but I'm not doing that anymore. Arvis, how do things stand here in Narshi? Same as always, the town's neutral. I've tried to convince them to side with the Returners, but it's no use. Of course, maybe with you and the King of Figaro here... How are the townspeople? Everyone's been a little on edge since the Esper was discovered. We believe Terra may be able to help us get answers to our questions about the Esper. Well, the townspeople still have plenty of questions of their own. If we approach them in the right way, there's a good chance they'll agree to let her see it. That Esper is either going to save us or dig us an early grave. Three groups have arrived in Narshi and now a decisive battle is about to unfold. I understand what you're saying, but you're asking us to spill our blood for you. That's not what we asked, but it will be the result. Ha, <laughs> you're absolutely right. Bannon, we're asking you to spill your blood. Emperor Gestal is racing to acquire ever greater Magitek power. That's the reason he wants the, the Esper that was discovered here. If we allow the Empire to continue expanding its Magitek arsenal, history's greatest mistake will be repeated. War of the Magi, the legendary conflict that laid waste to the world. You're saying it could happen again? I had thought humans would uh, to be wiser creatures. Yeah, dun dun dun! Edgar, <gasps> the bros! Sabin, you're all right. Who have you brought along? I am Cyan, a warrior of the Kingdom of Doma. Whoa! Go! The Empire killed everyone in Doma, down to the last child. Kefka poisoned them. Barbaric! Elder! But that was because Doma was collaborating with the Returners. As long as Narshi remains neutral, we have nothing to fear from the Empire. Um, have you met the man named Kefka? Because I don't feel like anyone is safe from him. Think again! Look! The Empire is poised to attack Narshi as we speak. What? Lock, where did you manage to get your hands on information like that? Celeste here was one of the Empire's gen- So it is her! I thought she looked familiar. Sir Gao, step aside. The infamous General Celeste. The- the woman single-handedly responsible for the sack of Miranda. Stand by- oh, stand and meet thy judgment, imperial wretch. Wait! Celeste has promised her join the Returners. She's fighting on our side now. Be that as it may, I promised I'd protect her, and I won't give up a woman I've sworn to protect. Locke, you still haven't gotten over that, have you? Dun dun dun! I was also an imperial soldier. What? Cyan's like, I have to leave before I have a heart attack. The Empire is evil, but that doesn't mean all of its citizens are. I'm going to have to defer to my brother on this one. 
The Empire is marching on Narshi. We don't have long. Ooh! I don't care what you have to do. Just get me that Esper. Kefka, sir. What about the civilians? Ah! And here we raise the, the correct point. What about them? Kill them all. But sir, Narshi is a neutral city. Idiot! Read my lips. Mercy is for wimps. There's a reason oppose rhymes with dispose. If they get in your way, kill them. March! Kefka. It seems the choice has been made for us. Let us make ready for war. They're here for the Esper. We moved it up into the cliffs above the valley. Then that's where we'll make our stand. Locke has a complicated past. Don't go falling for him now, thinking he was protecting you out of love back there. Thanks for your concern, but I'm a soldier, not some love-starved twit. So much for my next suggestion. Shocker. <laughs> Tara, who'd have thought we'd meet again like this? You can use magic too, can't you? But it's different from mine. I was raised to be an imperial, an imperial magitech knight. When I was still very young, I was artificially infused with magic. Is it possible for you to love other people? Are you mocking me? Do not think for even a moment that I trust thee. Fine, use your own eyes and see for yourself which side I'm on. Okay, are you ready? No, god no. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, equip. Optimal. Um, prevents poison. We're gonna give her the white cape. Okay. Let me go to Terra. the strength of the wearer's magic. Okay. Actually, we're gonna go back here. And... Here. I know it says stronger when in pairs, but... I don't care. <laughs> they each deserve at least one. Okay. Sup, Saban. Gal. Yeah. We're gonna actually give him the sniper eye. And boosts the wearer's strength. Let's put that on Cyan. Uh, oh, nope, never mind. Okay. Get Celeste again. <sighs> okay. Are you ready? See. Google. Protect the Esper from Kefka. Would you like an explanation? No, thank you. Okay, so we are going to have um, magic user and powerful or in strong. You're going to have thief and strong and let's see. So strong, strong. 
Double strong. Magic, magic. Gal will go in. He'll go in party. Uh, triple strong. We got strong, strong, double strong, <gasps> triple strong. You're right. You're right. He has to go in that party. It's perfect. We're good. Proceed. Here they come. Kefka. Oh, if it isn't General Celeste, the traitor. Excellent. Now I won't have to hunt you down later. <laughs> I love his laugh. Go! Get those vile insects. what I like to do is I just position them at good points and <laughs> I just let them come to me. I can't let them get to ban and that's... I used to just leave the parties up at the top and that was not very good. That was not very good of me. Because if they even get diagonal to Bannon, then they can kill Bannon. <laughs> and that's what we're trying to avoid. The Kefka laugh is so good. So perfect. <laughs> Steel. Let's see. And let's, uh, let's rage some spritzer. Ooh, this is a very grand version of, uh, Terrence blend it in there. What do you think? I love the, <laughs> the enemy falling flat. <laughs> flat. Lock strong. It's not really. I mean, I love him. <laughs> but I wouldn't really say that I'd call him strong. <laughs> not like Sabin strong or Cyan strong and Edgar strong. And even then, Edgar strong because his auto crossbow does insane damage.
think we have to fight Kefka at the end of this. I mean, he is down there, and he does want the the Esper. I don't want to fight him. He's very strong. Let's give, uh, let's give him a chance to get some enemies. <laughs> oh, look at Fidor. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> his, little, his little underbite. Lots of battling. <laughs> so it's gonna be for the next few minutes. Please don't get shit. Uh, on my way. <laughs> oh, thank goodness that didn't keep us down for long. I was getting ready to just like run in and uh, bring us back or something, but game did it for us. It's embarrassing. I've died twice in this stream. <laughs> than I'd expected, but she is like a blend of like a physical and magic, which is nice. Okay. <laughs> you good, Dan? Alright. Oh god. Let's uh... Your magic, bitch. Sorry, that was 
very aggressive of me. I meant it that way, but... Take all of your magic and I will say um nom nom nom. Okay. Being poisoned is not okay. Uh antidote. Whew. Hell yeah. Damn dude. Okay. could have just come up here and if they reach me we've lost it's all up to you I could have just done that <laughs> instead of using my items but oh well it's not like I'm hurting <laughs> here we go we eat magic I'm the Oh shit. No! No! Oh man. Um. A what? No. Shit. I think I have it. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. She hit herself out of confuse. God, Runus Runic is so good. love his sprite. I'm gonna cross stitch it one day. Hell yeah. Won't be for a long time, I'm sure, but I'm gonna do it. I also wanna do um, Terra in the Magitek armor. I don't know, there's a lot I wanna do. The Kefka like god tower or whatever oh gosh that would be massive and amazing <sighs> don't think you've won bye oh i'm totally gonna think that we won oh, i won't forget this where's the esper is it all right Huh, let's run back. Let's go check. Whew, the Esper's safe. It also appears to be alive. Is that even possible? Tara, what is it? I'm not going to scream that the way she probably did, because that would be loud. Tara, 
Sora and the Esper. They're reacting to each other. What? What is this I'm feeling? Hmm? Did you say something? Please tell me. Who am I? Who? Tara! The Esper. It's responding to her. Tara, get away from that thing. Instead, Tara's gonna do a little thing called what she wants. That sound of her screaming gives me chills. Hmm. Yeah, Tara looked at the Esper and was like, What's up? It's fine. Are you awake? Where's Tara? She turned into a something and flew off. She looked like... She looked like an esper. Locke, are you okay? Something happened to Tara. There must be some connection between her and that Esper. We need to find her. Witnesses said she went streaking westward across the sky, beyond Figaro. We've got to hurry. I promised I'd protect her. Clock. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Empire will be back again for that Esper. And someone needs to protect Bannon. She is a, formal, a former Imperial soldier. But still, we must help her. Dion, Cyan, nice 180. We'd love to see it. Let's split up. Those who aren't searching for Terra will stay here to guard against further attacks. Figaro Castle can shutter... Shutter. <laughs> Figaro Castle can shuttle the others to the western province. It shouldn't be hard to track down clues in Kolingen or Jidor as to Terra's whereabouts. Okay. Because of bias, I'm taking her. Because of power, I'm taking him. Uh, because of stealing, I'm taking him. And because I like him, we're taking him. Proceed. Protected the frozen Esper and ousted the Imperial troops. Good for me. I did that. <laughs> Candid elixir. And we're going to leave out the front door. It's going to be great. Welcome. Ooh. Mithril shield. I 
probably could sell the stuff that I'm not actively like, using. Oh, not here, I can't. <laughs> Iron Helm. Hey, buddy. Narshi is a neutral city. We've taken no part in the war, yet still we're not spared from the Empire's aggression. Yeah, that's how, um, evil assholes work. No one is spared. It's this whole big deal about narcissists and people with too much power. It's this exactly like a royal welcome. Ah, this is just like old times. I'm gonna wander around for a bit. Hi. I can't take money from the king. You have a family, don't you? Just be quiet and take it. Yeah, sir. Grab at least one of those. I mean, two. Thank you. Of Edward. Er, Jesus. Edgar's not here for the nonsense of, I'm not taking your body. He's like, Yeah, you are. Confuses all enemies with the blast of sound, inflicts darkness. Penetrates an enemy's armor to deal to deal severe damage. Yes. Uh, I don't really use these ones, but I'll get them so we have options. Save and disappear. <laughs> Save and was like, oh my god, I'll be back! And ran away. Like, who knows where that guy is now? I thought he ran up there. Who can even tell? Rest for a bit? Nah. Hey, ma'am! Our king showers his attention on women. Young, old, pretty, or plain. No one is safe. Oh, King Edgar! <laughs> had a long and difficult journey. You must be tired. Why don't you rest for a while? Ugh. Yes, we will rest. Oh, this is so good. Hmm. Castle hasn't changed much. And yet it's different. Mom and dad are gone. Nothing can ever really be the same. Not after what happened. Tonight, worst he's been. So if he should... No, you're wrong. It's not true. Please just... The king, he's... Sabin! Sabin!
Dad couldn't have... Edgar. So Dad didn't make it. Edgar, there you are. Your father just said he would entrust Figaro to the two of you. Those were his final words. You all make me sick. Everyone's saying that the Empire had Dad poisoned. And the only thing any of you can think of is who will be the next king. No one's even sad. None of you probably cared when Mom died after we were born either. That's not... You're just as bad as the rest of them. Sabin. Empire of murderers. They won't get away with this. Priestess, leave us. <sighs> Let's leave this place. This, this scene is so good. Let's forget this crazy kingdom and live our lives how we want to. You said you didn't want to be a king, right? A life of freedom, huh? What do you think would happen to Figaro if, if both of us left? There'd be no one to take the throne. Dad was counting on us to take care of the kingdom. Saban, let's settle this with the toss of a coin. Dad gave me this one. If it's heads, you win. Tails, I win. The winner chooses whichever path he wants. No regrets, no hard feelings. Okay? Here we go. chose your freedom. It's already been ten years. That little shrimp has grown into a whopping lobster. And you're a king crab. <laughs> Sabin, do you think dad would be proud of me? Oh, Don't you ever doubt that. I'm sure he's beaming with pride wherever he is. Ten years... Where is the time gone? Here's to a couple of confused grown-ups. Drink. I feel that. Here's to Dad. And uh, to Mom. And to Figaro. always so good. So emo. Oh, Sabin, you sure have grown up, haven't you? I still remember that time, you know. My word, was I furious with you. I think I learned an important life lesson that day. Lots of orders to submerge this month. I can take you to the desert beyond the mountains if you'd like. Yes, let's go! <sighs> I wonder what the clean out of sand is like after they do this. Like, hopefully they have barricades on the top of the stairs and stuff, um, so that sand doesn't just spill in. <laughs> All right. So bad. <laughs> Desert. 
or the sand is just... Oh boy. Calling in. A strange glowing creature flew right through here. Scared the living daylights out of me. It took off southward towards Jidor. <gasps> hey, we meet again. Leave me alone. Oh. I don't have space in my party for him. That thing. I don't know what it was, but it tore up my house. Looked like some kind of glowing monster. Oh, sorry about your house. That was my friend. I, I couldn't protect her. Lock. What are we off to find today? It's almost your... There's supposed to be an amazing treasure hidden somewhere in this mountain. We're gonna find it. Locke, look out! Rachel! God, we are just so much sad today. <laughs> Rachel, are you awake? I... I can't remember anything. Get out of my house! It's your fault Rachel lost her memory. Wait, just let me talk to her. Please, just go away. I don't know who you are, but my parents get upset whenever you come here. Rachel would be better off without you hanging around, Locke. She's going to have to make a new start of it. With you here, she can't even do that. Ugh. A year went by. When I finally returned, I found out that Rachel had been killed in an Imperial attack. Her memory had returned just before she died. The last thing she said was, my name. I never should have left her side. I, I failed her. was like, hey, do you like your feelings intact and not hurt? Well, this isn't the game for you. <laughs> was that thing really a monster? It stopped right in front of my little girl. I could see it had gentle eyes. Look, it's been a while. Ages, even. Oh, that? Worry not, worry not. Your treasure's quite safe. <laughs> it's a good thing I happened to perfect my herbal concoction right when she... The, the girl hasn't aged a day and never will. <laughs> Had to use my herbs, I did. Couldn't very well refuse with you begging me like that. Rachel. You're sure this stuff will work? Of course, of course. The love of your life will sleep here just like this forever. And ever. And ever. <laughs> if there were a way to call her spirit back. A way to call her back, eh? You mean like that legendary treasure? <laughs> oh yes, I suppose if you had that, you might be able to reawaken her. <laughs> I failed her. Lock. I 
And now she's just eternally there in like a coma. Okay, so we know she went south to G. is so sad. I just got like a little bit misty eyed at it. <clears throat> so good. A rock wasp sounds horrifying. So a high potion. She's so rad. I yeah, I adore Celeste. <laughs> uh, someone bought my um Celeste keychain on the la like it was one of the last keychains that I sold on the last day of the con. Um, but I know, uh, the person it went to was Leo's brother, and I know he'll take very good care of it. Yeah, I think that she may have been the last one that I sold. Um, and someone, uh, someone I think would have, um, bought my Moogle if I'd had a Chocobo with it, and I, I didn't, so my Moogle survived, <laughs> um, which I kind of was bummed out that he didn't sell, but I am now, like, 90% done with the Chocobo, so I will have one next time. Twist headband. Ooh, a mithril vest. Yeah. But yeah, um, I'm gonna have the set and I'm gonna have a cactar too. Uh, so I think even more chance <laughs> of, um, of them going with, like, the mascots being sold. Okay, Chocobo Shield, Weapons, Relics, and... I saw a girl bathed in light speed off toward the northern mountains. This is the Jador Auction House. It's always full of wealthy aristocrats. Ooh, we're gonna do something there later. The class divide is starkly apparent here. All of the middle class families live in the southern part of town. The richer folks live up in the north. You can see one of their enormous mansions from here. Yeah. <laughs> this enormous mansion. Oh, I think we're gonna do something here too. A treasure chest on canvas. A picture of an old urn. Hey. This one looks awfully familiar. <laughs> hey, dude. You're the spitting image of Maria. Huh? Haven't you heard of her? You s oh, haven't heard of her, you say? She's a famous opera singer. Spitting image. Hey, little girl. I'm going to be an opera singer when I grow up. Huh? 
You don't know where the opera house is? It's way south of here. Cool. All the poor people were forced out of town. I hear they built a new town in the valley between the mountains up north. She's gonna be a blitzball when she grows up. So... Oh, I think you can see my mouse now. Right here is where the opera house is. And right here is where Tara is. So we're gonna go up here. Although this is... Unless I'm about to be... I feel like they rebalanced the difficulty in this game. Um, because when I was like, oh, it's really difficult in the forests. Then it was like... Leaf bunny and everything was super easy. <laughs> um, uh, the town that Terra is in is very difficult. <laughs> it's a very tough town to, um, like to even just be in. It's very difficult. Okay. Items. Yeah. It's Zozo. This place is nuts. Zozo? Never heard of it. You're in it, you weirdo. This kind of sucks. <laughs> Oof. It's just like a long, a long time to get through this, uh, to get through this town. Hello? Zozo Pub. The second hand on my watch is pointing at 30. That's important. Okay, a second hand is pointing at 30. Nail dancing. Holy shit. <laughs> I might be actually leveling up before we come through here. <laughs> oh god, that was... <laughs> I don't feel like they, uh... I don't feel like this one is messing around, like... I think I'm gonna call the stream a little early this time and uh, uh, do some level grinding until next week. <laughs> uh, I already died twice this stream. <laughs> Saban learned Rising Phoenix! Yes! Yeah, I started... You you ended your stream dying. I started my stream dying. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out early. Uh, because Zozo is no joke. Uh, Zozo sucks and we have to go through it to get Terra back. Like, this is not optional. Um, but I think next week 
um, will, I think, will be able to get Terra back and potentially the opera scene, I think. Um, but yes, I will, <laughs> I will be streaming again next week and <laughs> hopefully not dying. So I will talk to you guys later. Mwah.